welcome back to today's video today i'm going to show you what's on my daily page heading into 2023 hey guys my name is ev chapman and i create videos on how to elevate your life and work using tools for thought and what i thought i would do is today just show you through my daily page what's on it what's been working what hasn't been working and how i'm intending to use it going into 2023 I love watching other videos like this. I think that um, I often get a lot of ideas from seeing other people's daily pages. And uh, I know that a lot of the ideas that are on my daily page have come from different walkthroughs like this. So let's head in to my Tana and I will show you what's on my daily page. All right, so this is my daily page and at first glance, it looks pretty simple. And that's because most of the fields that I have are hidden. And this is one of the reasons that I love Tana is because fields can feel like so nice and optional and on a daily page i think that's really important um so i don't feel like i have to fill things in and i don't see things that i don't need until i need them um and so how i start off my page is with three basic fields my week plan my this month plan and my daily log and so i basically start the day just by entering those things in so um i keep a week plan um so this is just an instance field of all of the the things that are, are tagged as week plan okay so if i put week 51 um if i open that up you'll see all the things that are kind of um in my week plan i kind of have a busyness level i have what my focus for the week is what content i want to put out and so it's just a really simple way that i plan my week and then i also put the month in so i do a monthly plan as well and the reason i do it do it manually I just enter it in each day is because it actually really gives me um, a moment to pause and say oh let's just open up my month plan and just see am I on track um, or open up my week plan and say oh yeah that's right that's what my focus was this week and refocus myself and so just by doing that every day I just find that those things come back up to the top and just make it really uh, like easy to just go in and um, and check them and check that I'm on track the next thing I do is I have a daily log and basically in this field, I just fill this out all day, every day. So um, I try and do a first entry of the day. Now I use text expander. So I have a little keyboard shortcut that I use that is called now that puts the uh, time in and then I just start typing. Okay. And I use this same concept all throughout the day. I put the time and then I log all sorts of different things. Uh, if I have meetings with people, uh, if I have a thought about something, if I'm annoyed and I need to rant, um, I will put that in. And so the daily log is like a really nice way just to kind of, um, kind of journal throughout the day, I would say. Um, but it's kind of a, basically a dumping ground for everything. Um, I do have a quick capture, um, node here, which, um, I can kind of use the API uh, to send things to this node. I haven't found it super reliable and so I don't actually use it. It just sits there. Um, but if I do want to enter in through a shortcut, I can, um, I can use that and I might do another video on, on exactly how that works. Um, the other thing that I have here is a whole lot of reminders and yes, it kind of maybe looks a bit messy to you, but for me, it's a whole lot of different things that I want to remind myself of in the day, um, of things that are important to me. So it's important for me to wake up with energy and intention. It's important to, you know, either, um, I run the day or the day runs me. And so it's just a whole lot of reminders I like to keep there. And then I've got a whole lot of things up here that I actually keep as hidden fields. Um, and so the next two fields that I use every day is one, the daily schedule and two, my, uh, what I need to do today. Okay. So in my daily schedule, this is set up so that any node is, will become a meeting. Okay. So, um, I, if I put a meeting here, I can tag it. And then uh, basically I can open that up and this gets built from the different fields. So I basically have meetings with what, who, and when. So if I had, um, you know, like a, a daily huddle with uh, the team at 10 a.m., I could just put that in. And then in each of these meetings, I, within the meeting tag, I have a, um, uh, an agenda that I can put in, I have action items that I can create, and then I ha just basically have notes. And so each of those end up here, and I just create a really simple um, schedule 
I find um, it doesn't take me that long to enter in uh, all the things that I have going on that day. I don't do that many meetings. Um, but I also like to enter these things in manually because uh, I, it's not just like, okay, Google, please add all my calendar events. It's literally sitting here going, okay, daily huddle with the team. What do I need to prepare for that? Let's put it in a little agenda. And I start to think about that. So the act of doing it manually is like, you're actually planning your day as you're doing this rather than, um, just like bringing in a whole lot of things automatically, um, and not thinking about them. So that's my daily schedule. I have this little reminder. Um, that says uh, at 2 p.m. what don't I want to put off till tomorrow so I'm a bit notorious for kind of like deferring tasks to the next day and so I added this in just recently um, and it's been a really great reminder so every day at two o'clock I look at my task list and instead of saying what are all the things I want to put off till tomorrow I choose some things that I don't want to put off till tomorrow and I do them so once I'm done with my schedule then I just have a field that is called to do today so um, here is basically where I have two different searches. So in my life, I have a full-time job and I also do creator things, uh, which is my creator job, okay? So um, I have tasks that are separated for both. Uh, I don't like to mix them together. So I basically come in and I look at all the different tasks that I have for that day. The way that I do tasks is I give each of them a due day. So are they due on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and so all I do is I just come into the live query and I have the due day field already here. And all I do is I switch that to uh, whatever day it is. I know I've got Thursday tasks. I run it, done. And then I've got all the tasks that I have to do for that day. What I don't like <laughs> is I don't like to open and close um, uh, nodes. I really don't like it. So I basically copy them all and I press shift tab and that then kind of makes them a reference um, just in the main node. And then all I do is I delete that. And then I do the same for my creator tasks, except I don't really have due days in creator tasks. I just do them when I want. Um, so I might kind of say, I want to do this one and then I want to do this one. Um, and so I'll just choose a few and then I'll delete that. And so I'll end up with um, a whole lot of tasks that I need to do for my full-time job and then some things that I need to do as a creator. And so this is how I end up planning my day. Uh, it takes me all of about five minutes, maybe in the morning, depending on how many meetings that I have and how much I prepare for them. Um, but uh, I really, uh, I, I really love uh, this structure. Um, just to kind of get me into the day. Um, you'll see here, this is all the things I'm putting off till tomorrow. So if I, you know, didn't want to do something, I just pull it down here. Um, and, uh, and so that's when at 2 p.m. I review this list and I say, okay, I don't want to put that off. I don't want to put that off and I, I end up doing them. Um, so sometimes, you know, I treat my daily page as a way to kind of coach myself. Um, so rather than, uh, you know, beat myself up, I kind of lean into how I work. Um, so I know that I put things off till tomorrow and I just, I name it and I claim it. And then I find ways that I can trick myself <laughs> into not doing that behavior. Um, that's basically how, I, how I've, I've uh, created uh, my lifestyle. So once I've done that, there's a few other different fields that I have that I can use throughout the day and they're more optional fields. Okay, so the first one is what to do do to feel good today this is my wellness tracker i've done a full video on it i'll link it somewhere um, and you can have a look at it but basically what it is is it's a whole lot of activities um, that i can choose to do that are good for my well-being um, and uh, i often can get really into work uh, i can sit at the computer for hours on end and not actually do anything that is good for me um, so I have a whole lot of things that I can choose to do. And so I like this because at any time during the day, I can hit um, what did you do to feel good? And I can choose a, a well-being activity. At the end of the day, I clear my task inbox. So basically I just have a field. It has a live query that finds all of my tasks that are incoming. So as soon as I enter anything as a task in Tana, it makes it a status of incoming. And that's kind of how I know that it's a task that I haven't processed yet because 
Once I process it, I move it from incoming to available. So at the end of every day, I can collect tasks from wherever I've dumped them in Tana and clear my task inbox. And this is like invaluable because a lot of times I'll be like, let's say in a meeting and I will add in like action items from the meeting. So uh, this is a new task and you can see it, it creates the task straight away. Um, and you can see here it um, brings up that task status of incoming. And so I can be kind of anywhere and create a task and I know I'm going to find them later. And this is like a key part for me of, um, of using Tana because I have total trust in my system that when I dump it in, there's going to be somewhere later that I can find it again. A few other different things that are working and not working. Okay. So, um, I had this tracker, um, that I was using and I could add this in and then kind of do some tracking for the day, sum up my day in a few words, put in my mood, that kind of thing. To be honest, I literally never use it, um, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm just terrible at tracking. That is something that I would love for it to work, but it's just not working for me. And I probably will not continue to do that into the new year. Um, things that uh, I am going to implement in the new year, which I haven't quite yet, is one experiments and two scorecard. Basically how I have run my life for the last about five years is I do these 30 day experiments. Um, and it's a way to kind of test out different habits and different practices that I want to do um, uh, in kind of an, an easy way. Uh, so what I do is I basically choose something that I want to do for 30 days and I track it as an experiment. And so um, going into the new year, I want to bring that uh, into Tana and kind of have a way to track that. I haven't actually set it up, but it's there waiting for me. Um, and then the second thing is my scorecard. So um, there's a book out there called Traction. And it talks about in terms of business that there is a few numbers that you need to track in your business in order to know that it's healthy. And so I want to create some kind of scorecard uh, in line with kind of my yearly plan and what I'm doing for the month and all that kind of thing with a few different things, maybe five different things in my scorecard that I know if I hit them every day, I'm healthy, I'm on track um, in terms of like healthy in terms of like life. Um, so I haven't, I also haven't developed that yet, but it's there waiting for me, um, uh, going into the new year. And then the last, um, hidden field that I have is actually agendas. I've been using the agendas kind of concept since I started doing GTD like 20 years ago or something now. Um, and, uh, and so I just basically have some main agendas where I know, um, I need to find them really quickly. So like, um, I have an agenda for Richard, who's one of my colleagues, um, where like, I'll be uh, talking to him and I'll need to kind of like have a whole lot of things I can talk to him about, like in one go. And I like to connect, collect them in there. And the others are just agendas for different meetings that I have. So at the end of every day, my team and I do a da do a daily wrap up. And so I'll bring a whole lot of different items to that daily wrap up that I can talk to different people about. Um, and I found this is a, a really great way just to kind of like, again, as I'm going through the day, I think, oh, I need to talk to that person about this particular thing. I just tag it with agenda. I can just open up my daily wrap up agenda and the same for other different kinds of meetings. A question I get asked a lot is why do I use fields rather than nodes and, and kind of indenting of nodes? I just prefer um, one, I like to hide fields so I can hide different things that I don't want. Um, and then the other reason is I just like that it's contained within a field. The second reason that I like to set up in fields is that I actually created these daily logs so that I could see, uh, could, could kind of have like a a list of all the days and what is in that particular field. Um, and I find this actually one of my favorite ways to do weekly reviews and monthly reviews. So for each of the fields, I actually have a live search that searches for the DNP or the day tag and then views that as a table with just the field showing. So you can see this is my task log. And so I can easily go through for the week and see like what I did, what I didn't do. Um, I can, I also have a daily log that has all of my, um, my thoughts on it for the day. 
Uh, I have my well-being log in there, all of that kind of thing. And I kind of like those views and you can only make these views happen through fields. So I hope you liked that little walkthrough of how I use my daily page and how I'm intending to use it throughout 2023. I'm sure that I will change it many times throughout the year. And so we should, because if something isn't serving you, you should change it. And uh, if there's something good that you can add, then you should add it in. So if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I create videos like this all the time. And I love to connect with other people uh, on stuff like this. So please reach out to me on Twitter. If you're in the Tana Slack channel, reach out. I would love to connect.